Hey guys, my name is Mr. Moves and I'm here today with Matrix Keyboards to show you how to create and apply custom RGB lighting effects for your keyboard. Let's dive right in. First things first, when you open the software you'll be brought to this homepage. By default you will be in the standard layout with 5 RGB profiles to cycle through. I'm going to show you how to create your own lighting effect that can be swapped for the default modes provided. To start, we'll navigate to the LE Files tab at the top, LE standing for Lighting Effects. Once here, you'll see a massive list of all the profiles provided by Matrix right out of the box. And while they have some amazing options, we all love a little bit of customization. So to create your own, click on the plus icon at the bottom of the list and name it whatever you'd like. For the sake of this video, I'll just call it Tutorial. Once it's created, select the profile and click the edit icon here. Now down here at the bottom, you'll see two columns, one for frames and the other for effects. In this video, we're going to keep it simple with a single frame breathing effect. To do this, select frame zero on the left, bring your cursor to the top left corner of the keyboard, click and drag, selecting all of the keys. Next, navigate over to the effects. The default effect is monochrome, meaning a single color, but we want breathing. To add this effect, we'll click on the plus icon here and select breathing from the pop-up list. Now that we've added this, we can delete the monochrome effect by selecting it and clicking the golden trash icon here. Next, we need to apply the breathing effect. Again, we'll select the effect and click the top left of the keyboard and drag over the keys. If you want to see what your effect is looking like as you work, simply press the play button here. As you can see, we're getting more of a strobe effect than a breathing effect. This is due to the parameters. To fix this, we'll change our first parameter to 5 and the second to 20 and test it again. Much better. Now to choose a color. I'm feeling like purple today, but of course choose whatever you'd like. We'll test it one more time. Everything looks good, so now it's time to save it. Just click the check mark to the bottom right of the effects column and you've just created your lighting profile. Finally, it's a time to apply it to your board. Head back up to the top and click on the configurations tab to head back to the home page. If your lighting effects aren't showing up above your standard tab here, simply click on layer one, then back to standard and they will reappear. Now decide which profile you'd like to apply, replace, click on the three yellow dots and scroll to the bottom of the list where you'll find the profile we just created. Select it and hit confirm. Now we just have to hit save and apply and your keyboard will be updated with the new profile. To cycle through, simply hold the function key while tapping the close bracket key on your keyboard. This will cycle through the five profiles you have uh, until you find the one that we've just created. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for more tutorials and in-depth custom profiles. Make sure to let us know what videos you'd like to see in the future. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.